is here. That's <laughs> What's up, Troy? Yeah, happy Friday, Jerry. Good to see you, man. Whew, it's good to see you too, man. Good to see you too. It's been a week. I'm ready for a good weekend, man. I'm ready for a good weekend too. We're gonna get really fucked up. I got to hit that thing. A pretty special piece, man. Got some babes to beat up. I'm streaming just what you needed. Glad that you're here. Ladies and gentlemen, Troy and Jerry. Hey, everybody, it's the Troy and Jerry Show. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> what voice was that? That's fucking great. What's up, buddy? I don't know. It just came out. It just came I out. like that, man. What the name that fucker? How you doing, man? I'm doing all right, man. It's yeah. It's been a day so far. It's been a day. Right? That's for sure. Not the usual chill until the show day, right? Mine wasn't either no not not even close like i woke up at 8 a.m somebody pounding on my door it was the oh. gardener ready to chop down trees needed me to move my cars out of the driveway your gardener like yeah. like doing your shit okay wow yeah so he, he they came and they cut down all of my trees today so like chainsaws in the backyard like five or six trees cut down and then a big tree in the front yard they were like chainsaws all day just like all day just like, just all all day were they were they a danger to the house or is it just war in the trees i don't know man like the we, we got hit by the hurricane last weekend and you got hit this weekend or this week and, uh we had some trees down and my landlord just like decided you know what i think it's cheaper to cut down the trees than it is to maintain them so yeah she she cut down all of our trees uh, i at around three o'clock or so i i needed a break from the chainsaw so i decided i was going to go to the grocery store and get a coke and i was going to meditate in the parking lot of the grocery store i uh went and got in my car and there was a bunch of people outside it was weird and my pants were falling down I got in the car and my pants were hanging around my ass. <laughs> what the fuck? And then I, 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 the seat was hot and it burned my ass. And I drove, <laughs> I drove real fast. I drove fast and I was like an F1 race car driver because I accidentally pulled out in front of somebody and I felt bad. So I had to like be an asshole and drive real fast and like get away from them, you know? And I went through this cur curve and I had to like lean forward and like tighten my body so I didn't flop around too much. And because my, my shorts were sagging, they were like hanging around my ass. You didn't like, have time to pull them up. What man? It, I did. Oh, I had time. I just didn't do it. <laughs> it it like popped the the front button. You know the br button that holds your pants together. Yeah. So like that button just like like pop like went flying. Like it broke off my shorts, and I was like, shit. And then I I couldn't go to the grocery store to get my coke anymore because my shorts were falling down to my pants as soon as I stood up. It was terrible. It was not a Damn. good good day. I still got my coke. Like I came, I came home and I changed my shorts and okay went back out. But way to soldier on, brother. Way to push through. I've got PTSD from that whole like popping the button off the the, the pants thing, man. It happened to me in like second grade, mm -hmm. and then it happened to me again in like fourth grade, and then probably again in like fifth grade. Like I just had real bad luck with that as a kid, you know, because I was like <laughs> I was wearing the husky pants, I was like the fat kid. So uh, yeah, man. Uh, that shit fucked me up a lot. Like I, I busted a lot of buttons in in school. So having it happen today, it was just like one of those like reminder of my my childhood. You know, like yeah. Damn, man. Well, I hope I hope you were able to grow instead of shrink from that one. I I was hell. On, I used to say it too. I was like, dude, I'm hell on buttons. Back in my 40s, like in my 40s, I fucked up a button every time, man. I was like, they shouldn't even put these things on my fucking clothes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they're thinking, but my wife got uh, was the habit of sewing fucking buttons back on my shit. So, anyhow, um, the less, yeah, that's a good 
baby face goes, what's the lesson here? Don't cut down trees. Wasn't, <laughs> I don't know that. Do we ever have lessons? There's no lessons, man. <laughs> it, it wasn't my decision. It was my, I'm a renter. I would have loved to keep the trees. One of them is like a, a magnolia tree. And I love magnolia trees, you know, with the big white flowers. Mm-hmm. Those trees are red. I, the, the tree in the front yard, I can get rid of that. Because like, that shit's been yeah. dumping sap on my car like weekly. Like that's going to save me 10 bucks a week in car washes right there. Right on, getting, right getting rid on. of that tree. He's like, sap sucks on the car, man. Fuck that. Yo, for real. Like every time, and every time I go to the, the automatic car wash, the guy's always like, it's like, uh, this car wash isn't going to, isn't going to take off the sap. And I'm like, bro, I'm like, like it, it washes off every time. I'm like and every time you say, it, every time you warn me that you're like, ah, oh, it's not going to come off. And, and it, it encourages me to give you a bigger tip. And every fucking time the, the, the automatic machine takes the sap off. No problem. So like, just shut up about the fucking sap. That was you a know? good Cartman there, brother. I like that. It's fucking perfect, man. I oh, they, wow. Did I tell you that? What? Not Cartman, the guy at the car wash. Like, oh, the guy. No, that the, sounded like Cartman, though. That was great. He, he, he takes your your receipt, the number, and then punches it in the machine, and then he he goes to the other end and, and wipes off your car after you come out. I uh, I felt bad one day, and I, I I saw him working his ass off, and I wanted to tip him, and I saw that the sun was in his eyes. And I had a pair of these Ray-Bans that my mother-in-law bought me like 15 years ago that I don't wear yeah. anymore. And they were just in the car. They'd just been in the car as like my spare sunglasses. And I was like, you know what? This dude is like being blind. I can see him. He's like sun's in his eyes. And he's like out there in the sun wiping cars on all day. I'm like, this dude needs a pair of sunglasses. I'm going to mm-hmm. give him my, my old Ray-Bans. So yeah, I gave him my old Ray-Bans and that dude was so happy. I was about to say, did he dig it? That's dope, man. Yeah. Ray Bans can be expensive, man. That's a nice gift. That's a nice. Gift. Yeah, they were, they were the expensive ones, like the the metal framed aviators. They were like two hundred and sixty bucks or some shit at the time. It was stupid. Yeah. These stupid. are Ray Bans. These the, these glasses I wear, plus my sunglasses, the prescription sunglasses are Ray Bans. So I spent some money, man. It was some money. There was one day I had money in my pocket, and I said, "Let's get some glasses." <laughs> Dude. Prescriptions like if you get prescription sunglasses, go for go for something good. I had some uh Ralph Mark the, the polo guy, the Marco Polo guy, mm-hmm. the Ralph Lauren polo. Yeah. I had some polo prescription sunglasses years ago, and man, they were the best fitting shades I've ever had in my whole life. Like I wore those motherfuckers everywhere, and people were always like like yo, those sunglasses are bitching. I'm like, yeah, man. Nice. Prescription. <laughs> They're prescription yeah, sunglasses. <laughs> Dude, mine are uh, Wayfarers and they're they're no line bifocals. So I I read with them too when I when I'm out. So I'll leave this at home and then go around with my sunglasses and I look like that jerk off who's trying to be cool wearing his sunglasses, but I just can't see very well without. <laughs> But, uh, dude, my week, man, was interesting. Like, I mean, a lot of fucking shit. Like, uh, you know, that hurricane was heading down here. And um, and some of you guys in the community reached out. I appreciate it, man. You guys are awesome. Um, the, uh, the hurricane was coming. And I had plans to go from Jacksonville to Tampa for a few days. And this thing was going real close to Tampa. But we've seen enough of these hurricanes. I don't give a shit. So we drove down there anyhow. And on, on Wednesday, when the hurricane hit the state, we headed south and kind of almost went around that fucker to Tampa. And went into the storm, which was kind of fun. And then um, I got to spend 40 hours almost with Percy. So it was awesome seeing Percy, man. We hung out. I'll show you a picture later on here. But uh, did you miss your person? Him. Yeah, dude, it was great. I hadn't seen him in a bit. Uh, my kid was out of town. So we went down to just take care of him for a couple of days. I didn't get to see my kid. He left before we uh, before we got there. But it was good seeing a cat. And uh, and that was awesome seeing some family down there. And then um, I was coming back today, right? And the plan was get up. Eat some, eat some brunch and get the fuck out and get here and relax for a while. And uh, I woke up and found out that the AC here in Jacksonville was flooding. Like, like the, the, the couple of the rooms were all flooded. And I'm like, oh, motherfucker. So from Tampa this morning, I scheduled an AC call and had just enough time to drive and get here before the fucker showed up. And then they fixed my AC. And then that was only a couple hours ago. So my day was been pretty like not my normal Friday. Hey, we're going to chill and be relaxed for the show. I was like 
amped up an hour and a half ago. <laughs> wow, that sounds like a potential show canceler there, man. Not having AC on a Friday on a oh, fuck. Florida. Right, Florida, you gotta have that shit. No, I just spilled a bunch of tea. Um yeah, I I thought I, I was like, dude, what happens if if I don't get back in time or if something goes wrong? You know, all it takes is a flat tire when you're that that to cutting it that tight, you know what I mean? So anyhow, but got back. I was I was all stuck to be back here. Everything's working now. Um, guy got it fixed. And it was one of those things when you look back on it, you go, ah, you know what? Could have just chilled the whole time because everything worked out, you know, no need to stress about it at all. So um, before I forget, everybody out there, man, um, we didn't get this out until recently, but we're going to give away three Lobos tonight. So I'm pretty stoked about that for you guys. So um, we're going to give them away live right here, like we always do towards the end of the show. Uh, we'll ask questions about the what we talked about, and you guys can uh, easily win a vape, man. So stick around. It's going to be a lot of fun, man. It'll be dope. Nice. Congrats already to the three winners. If you're here already, that'd be cool. <laughs> if you're here. <laughs> fucking kill me man i love it oh my goodness i'm gonna kick off with a little bowl if anybody wants to vape along i got my my turp hammer my hammer is not hot i have the dab i have the i have the uh the banger in there instead so Ah, maybe i'll do a maybe i'll do a little if if you wait i'll do a little dab can you hurry up yeah i just gotta grab my extract right here it's all hot it's hot and ready i just gotta get my goodies out Okay, I mean, because the, the turp hammer holds its temp for a little while, but I mean, I don't want to like... Oh, right, you've already taken it off. Throw it back on the heat for a second. I want to sit here and rub one out. And... Throw it back on the heat. Are you going to take that long? I'm trying to open the motherfucker. Okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> it won't open, Troy, I'm sorry. So can we, can, can we vape? Are we good? All right, Are we good? Go for it. In the chat, let's do it. Go for it, Troy. Get right your D's there. in the chat if you're dabbing along, or your, your B's in the chat, I guess, if you're bowling along. 420 Vapes on bowling team checking in. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. I didn't uh I didn't vape last night, so there's a potential for me to get really kind of fucked up tonight. We'll see. Yes, that's all so we yeah. I, mean, well, I broke uh, out the good shit. So, did you? Yeah, I did. I got, I got, I've been saving these two nugs and I didn't touch it all week because I've been saving the two special nugs and I pulled one out tonight. So, we're on the uh, pink strawberry gelato. Bro, let me show you what I just, I just, I was almost out and I picked up some goodies. This is uh, ice cream cake and it's, uh, haven't had I haven't had good purple weed in a long time, man. Nice. All fucking dark purple and all. Let me see if I can get this better over here. Is this gonna show it a little better? Holy cow, look at that background of glass stems. Spoiler oh. alert. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna hit every fucking one of them and figure it out. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> oh shit, that's great, man. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so we got um that's funny, man. We got fresh weed to hit on tonight. Um, I'm gonna give away some vapes. Uh, I'll just start right now. And um, oh, let me let me show you real quick. Let me show you what you guys ought to do here. Um, let's see. I wanna and let's do um, this one. This is uh, this is the. Can you guys see this now? Yes. Okay, cool. So this is um, the post that we did for tonight. I want you guys to see this is uh, at Troy and Jerry. You can go to Troy and Jerry, the homepage, and then click the PT Lobo and watch the, the stream there. If you're um, if you're watching us live, come watch it there. If you're watching it afterwards, you can watch it there as well. And then um, we've got some pictures here, some write-ups. Uh, here's uh, Percy chilling. I was stoked to hang with Percy, so there he is chilling with me there. And then, uh, you know, some more picks at the bottom. But the idea is you got a place to go and kind of preview what we're talking about, get a good look at some stuff. And then uh, and then even at the bottom here, you can uh, throw down some questions and shit for us. So like uh, Polecat was asking about the max temp today. So we talked about how it's 430, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. So anyhow, uh, yeah, watch, check us out on TroyandJerry.com. That's the place to watch us, whether it's live or replay. Come on, come on over here and check that out. Hell yeah. I, nice looking post there, Jerry. Good work. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I also published that, a uh, a review on my site, so if you're curious on my independent review, 
So there you go. Check them out. Vape Zone, baby. Vape Zone. Got all vape the vape. Dot com. So yeah, ready mm. to get into this thing? Ready to get yeah, into well, the... Do you have any yeah. disclaimers you need to lay out? Any, I was just anything? about to say, first of all, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, I put a disclaimer on the site for everybody who reads that blog post. Um, I uh, I actually helped. Uh, I, I hang on, let me get this shit. I got a cat here on my desk. I consulted with Planet of the Vapes for on on the development of this vape. It feels like a year and a half or two years. It was really uh, more going hard this year. So um, tonight. Uh, I want you to know that I'm I'm coming in. I, I feel like I'm biased. I really love this thing. I've been beating it up forever and I've had a lot of input into its its final iteration. So tonight, when you hear me, I want you to consider me as instead of Jerry, the impartial independent reviewer, um, I'm here as a representative of the manufacturer to tell you all about this thing. And I want to tell you about the development of it. And I've got a whole bunch of cool shit to show you. I got a whole museum of Lobos here and I'll tell you the kind of shit we went through. I learned a lot developing this thing with them as far as just uh well we'll get into that later troy i don't want to get into it too much but i learned a lot and i always love to take you guys for the ride so anyhow uh that's the scoop man so consider me um like like if we'd brought if we brought the guy from vape Vaughn on for the screwball and he was talking think of me like in that role so to speak so that i, I think that's important that's my disclaimer thanks jerry thanks uh it's uh it's always interesting when Speak, speaking about bi biases and the awareness of them and what, what that awareness of potential bias, biases can do. Because like I, I consulted with Vivant a few years ago and I, I helped them come up with some, some vapes. And when I found myself reviewing their vapes, I found myself being like extra extra harsh and, and scrutinizing all the little shit. And mm. I even kind of do the same thing with like our sponsors here. Mm -hmm. So like when I'm, when I'm reviewing Dynavap stuff and when I reviewed Simral stuff in the past and uh, stash and mini nail, the, the fact that I was transparently accepting monies from these companies, I wanted to make sure that, everybody sees that it's like not affecting my opinions. Like I refuse to sell my opinions. I want to make that super clear, you know? So I, I, I was always like, uh, obviously you, you make the statement of transparency, but then I, I would also kind of scrutinize extra hard on, on things like be a little extra thorough with, with my, complaints even like fishing for them and asking people like about potential complaints just trying to provide a, a more thorough perspective other than my own just to like prove like hey look i can be objective that's what i do yeah buddy you're one of the best at it brother um i i just find myself kind of kind of going back and forth between really excited and then, like you said, being critical of the things that, that, that I still want to tweak a little bit, you know what I mean? And going back and forth and, and, and awesome. And so, uh, but at the end of the day, yeah, I, I love the thing. I'm, I'm excited to have input into it. I like, I like where it landed and, uh, I use it plenty. So, um, yeah, man, why don't we start with like a little bit of an unboxing is, uh, mine's in the box is yours. Do you want me to do it or you? Actually, mine is not in the box. I can put it in the box if, if you prefer me to do it like with my camera. It's up to you. You're great at that shit. Yeah, if you want. If you have it all right there. Yeah, it's... There you go. Always prepared we are for this show, guys. We got everything laid out to the T. We never miss a step. <laughs> the, the only thing that's going to be missing is probably the charging cable and whatever the inside right. stuff is. So That's cool. I can pull mine out. Then Hang on. Let me make you big. Um, all right. So here's the box, the Lobo, just a little bigger than the vape, really no point in getting a whole bunch of extra packaging, but, um, it's, it's a pretty nice box. Here's what's funny guys. I learned in development, man. I mean, you, I don't think about packaging. I'm like, just whatever. Um, man, you spend a lot of time to getting the packaging. It's, it's crazy. It's not just an afterthought. Open that up and there it is. So all you do is slide it off, lift it up and there's the vape ready to go charge it first, but it's got a replaceable battery too. So. We're gonna skip the inside stuff because uh, it's not there anymore. But there's a I'll show there's it a, later. Okay, yeah, there's a cool brush and there's a charging cable. So here's the vape itself. Sorry about the 
little flecks of dust and pubes and whatnot on here. That's on all my picks, bro. <laughs> That's what the healing brush is for. I think it's the healing brush. The the right. J tool, you hit J in Photoshop, and there you go. It's like a tool that allows you to wipe out little flecks of dust. Oh, I gotta learn that. Removable battery on the bottom. That's a little uh like like finger grip kind of a thing. Uh, I'll show you some more of those later, but um that one's got a slot for the quarter or your fingers. Um, I'll show yeah, you later on some of these other models. You can you can grip it pretty easy, I think. There you go. And then uh positive in first comes with a Samsung 35E battery. Um at one point in my tests. Uh, I went through about seven or eight different high quality batteries and tested every one of them all the way through. And this one performed really well. So that's a good one to go with for this one. And how many bowls do you say you get per charge on, on this battery real quick? Here, here are the parameters, a four minute session with six second hits, five to six second long hits. I wasn't doing my 15 to 20 normal stuff. I was going, I was trying to do it like a normal human being. And uh, I got 10 sessions every damn time like that. Uh, and I'd get about about seven hits in there. Seven hits, five, six seconds long, and four minutes. And um, okay. one, of the, one of the things I liked about it, Troy, is that I ran, I, I drained batteries on this thing so, so many times. I kept, I stopped taking my notes on them because I really expected with a convection heavy vape like this to have the last two or three sessions maybe show me a little weakness. But for me... Uh, the battery did its job all the way through to the end. I was pretty stoked about that. Okay. All right. I'm going to have to do more battery testing on mine, but we'll get into that later. Let's finish yeah. the walkthrough on this thing. You want to yeah, talk magnetic about Magnetic slide off mouthpiece, just like the uh, the one. The difference here, though, is uh, on the bottom there, what, what we've done is, uh, you remember the big blue, sil blue silicone? Um, uh, oh, what is the, it? Yeah. The washer or whatever the fuck it was, the grommet that was in the yeah, other one. Yeah, silicone grommet. Yeah, that thing we wanted to get rid of that. And in this in this particular case, now what we have is we have a little O ring down there that's on the outside of what inserts into the bowl. So it's 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 technically in there, but it's not really in the flow. So we were trying to get as much as possible silicone out of the air path. So I'm really stoked about that. Uh, and then that screen just pushes right in from the bottom. And yeah, and, and this uh, this this ridge right here is important to know. It is hard peak plastic yes. same as the the outer so that, that's all one material and the screen goes into the peak plastic the silicone goes outside that peak yep. plastic if i can put it back on there that's so pretty... for for the most part your vapor goes right from the titanium through the peak and it's only about one or two millimeters not much and then straight into the glass piece of your choice it comes with the dimple glass that's in there right now The dimple glass stem I love. The straight glass stem without them was always too hot for me. The dimple cools it well. On the higher temps, you'll probably reach for a different piece of glass to put in there, and and I would. Uh, I think every other piece, uh, well, not the curved one, but the other dimples and bubblers cool it more when you need it to. So, I think uh, right here, this the sliding mouthpiece is a, a huge update from the POTB one. Yeah, like that one that click clips in. The yeah. the number one complaint I heard as feedback on that vape is like over, over the course of like a year or two years or whatever, three, I guess the vape came out four years ago. So might, might be a long time uh, mm -hmm. over the course of a, a long time, that mouthpiece that snaps in and snaps off, mm -hmm. it loses its rigid, rigid snapping part and no longer stays connected Where's to the device. Bit. This solves that completely. It's a great solution and it, it's it's on the one now that but but it wasn't for years and now it now we it, why change a good thing that works so well just keep it over here so oh the the, the one has the sliding mouthpiece now too the, the yeah you buy a one now it has that same uh sliding mouthpiece it has it doesn't have the silicone solution that we have there with no silicone it's also it's so got a the grommet. Silicone. not it's smaller than the blue but it's still there so uh there, there's a black silicone grommet in there or whatever the air intake air intake yep it's an isolated air path you're not going to yeah, get through it yeah nothing nothing uh, the reverse test a little <laughs> more a little more but it's not much like not much and and the, the reason i do the reverse test uh is is to check those seals and see if i can blow them out and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> i'm trying to break this fucker day one a lot of times if if it's if they're they're made really cheap 
it'll just be like a tube that's inserted into another tube or into a, a vent and it won't actually be sealed but because they assume that the, the vape is going to be constantly sucked on the 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 way that the one tube contracts or whatever will make it sealed even though hmm. it, it's not really sealed gotcha right when you so come that's, it doesn't work right that's why I, I fuck with it both ways on there uh it, i took this vape in the shower jerry and i kind of i kind of got nasty with it in the shower and i'm not saying i put it in my butt or anything but i got it wet like okay in, in intentionally but in like accidental ways you know like if you were vaping in the shower you using and, it in the shower like, yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I, vaped, okay. I vaped i vaped a bowl and i would like you know run my 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 hand through the the water and like whoop, yep, and just that's a torture it. test mother i love it, it. was that's it great. was an absolute torture test and dude this vape is like made for the shower. Oh shit! Don't say that, Troy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not rubber stamping that statement, folks. Okay, yeah. <laughs> don't 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 take your vape in the shower. But he, he, look, look at these buttons. Yes. There's like, there's no there's nowhere for liquid to go. Uh, we uh, oh. you, that's true. They're 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 flush with the with the unit, and then they've got that little coating on them, and it's it's pretty neat. It's still got a little click touch to it. Uh, but I hadn't thought about the fact that it might help, you know, water not from going in there. But you're absolutely right, because all the other ones have that little button that it can do. USB C. I'm sorry, I'm talking in the yes. past. USB C. Yeah, I kept my finger over the the hole when I ran ran it under the water, so I I did intentionally cover the USB C port. Yeah, you would but, definitely fuck that up. Yeah, and I and again, I don't recommend that. But as a vape tester, I I had to do it, and I've done this with the Mighty. I've done this with the Solo. I've done this with the Ariser Air done this with boundless vapes i've done with done this with a bunch of vapes okay so it's not it's not some how many vape. ball vapes have you used in the shower troy <laughs> i uh, know you're getting wires in there none somewhere. i've no, never had a ball it's time I've for the terp a... station man get the fucker in there you don't need any wires to be perfect I, dude the the fucking terp hammer will probably be the first ball vape in the shower <laughs> There's no, you can pr it's totally safe except for burning yourself it's totally safe man you're, you're right good. you're right you're right. That that's is the shower good. vape. That's a good point. Just, that is I the like shower that. vape. That's I need one with a rubber handle instead of the wood handle. I <laughs> want to get great. the wood wet. Uh, shit. Okay. okay, you were showing the bowl before I got distracted. Yeah, the bowl so the, on this thing is bigger. It is pretty big. So like... The one was hot. 11 millimeters in diameter. This one's 13, which if you break down and do the math, comes in like 35, 40% bigger or something like that. Yeah, I can I can touch the bottom of the bowl with my pinky. I mean, I got a, I got a pretty tiny pinky. It's not super small, but... A little, little tickler. Like with my index finger, I can't, I can't <laughs> touch the bottom. My middle finger doesn't go in, but my, on my middle fingers, my right middle finger is flatter and wider oh. than my left middle finger. Isn't that weird? I like your left one. That was on its own there. This it's one. flicked everybody off, bro. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, see, look how much farther my left middle finger can go into oh, the bowl. That's great. Compared that's to great. my right middle finger, like my 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 right one is is wide. Yeah, I got I got stepped on by this very large kid when I was in grade school, and my fingernail fell off. And ever since and then, my uh, finger's been different. No shit, forever. Wow, yeah. that's a serious step right there. Bro. Yeah, man. I was in the, I was in first grade. It was like the first or second day of first first grade, and this this really big fifth grader was fucking throwing his comb back and forth. He was just throwing his comb on the playground, the big, big paved playground, and then he'd go pick it up and fucking throw it again. I don't know what the fuck he was doing. But it landed landed by my feet. I'm like, uh, I guess I'll pick it up and throw it to him or something. I don't know. So I went down to pick it up, and this fucking dude was like right there. And I was like, a fucking Beverly Hills Ninja, Chris Farley style. And it's like, he's there. Stepped on my fucking hand and just stood there on my finger. Really? Yeah. Did he and like give like, you shit or something? Like give my calm, you jerk off? Yeah, just, I mean, what was his deal? I don't know. He was just even know he was doing it. Just, That's fucked up. It was his precious comb. Excuse me, so. my hand. <laughs> yeah. And your life was never the same. Lost a nail, flattened that one on. Yeah, he was he was a dickhole up until <clears throat> up until he was able to like buy us beer. And then it was all right. Cause then like I guess he had friends because we were talking to him. 
to help him get him get him to buy us beer. You know, like we buy him a yeah. bottle of whiskey if he'd buy us some beer. Oh, we ready to pack this vape and use it? Yeah, yeah. Before we uh, before we load it up and get on it, I'll just tell you a little bit about it. Um, on the inside, uh, I told you about the outside. On the inside, the other goal was to um, have a bigger bowl and a more robust heater. I want to extract quicker. I want to I want to give some real punch. And so uh, we spent a good amount of time making the heater more robust. And uh, a little later on, I'll show you where that happened in the iteration. But it was I was pretty stoked when it finally happened. So, uh, yeah, let me get mine out. And actually, I can show off real quick since I'm opening mine. I'll show off what's in the box if you want. Sure. Um, do you do you have a heater that you can show us, or is that not something that you can do? Do I have what that I can show you? Like one of the internal heater components. No, no, I don't. And here's the thing: if you ripped it open, the changes, the alterations to what's a contemporary normal heater are are subtle, but effective. So I'm not sure how much of that Planet of Apes is going to let out there. I'll leave that to them. They may put out a little video that shows shit, but um, I'm not sure. Uh, you get <clears throat> a charge cable, which, by the way, in the box is USB-C to USB-C. So keep that in mind. Either you'll need a brick in the wall, a brick in the Ah, that's good. Hey, hey what's, uh, up, what's up with the USB-C to USB-C? Well, the USB, you're going to need a different brick, like the ones that come with phones or whatever. Um, I think this is where where way things are going. I prefer the more universal USB-A because then I can stick it in anything. But I mean, I could charge this on my lap, my, my Mac, but I don't have a Windows computer I could charge it on. So I'm not really sure. I personally was was pushing for the other one, but apparently this is kind of moving forward in the tech or something. So anyhow, that's what comes with. If you need a USB-C to USB-A, just grab one of your other ones. Um, comes with the Planet of a brush that's been out for a bit. Um, a dosing capsule, one, one uh, wait, dosing wait, wait, wait. capsule. Uh, well, yeah. that's cool about the dosing capsules. I, I want to go back to this brush. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is a cool brush, Jerry. It's a uh, the the Brussels the Brussels. <laughs> the Brussels the Brussels. The, so normally, normally the brush that I use frequently is the Stores and Bickle brush, and I have a, a ass ton of those things around. Uh, but this one has really rigid bristles. The stores and Bickle brush is, has a uh, soft bristles that are still kind of rigid and, and good for scrubbing. And they're bristles from a boar, they're boar hair, like boar hair, bristle. Okay. There's like a term for it, but I forget what it is, but the, yeah, it's basically from a pig, like the hair of a, of a, of a hog. <coughs> this brush does not use any animal fibers. In fact, these bristles here and are, they're rigid are from, Shit, what are they from again, Jerry? They're agave fibers. Agave. The same shit that tequila comes from. You can shoot that shit. Yeah. Just take your like, shots, it, use your brush. It's I mean, I can bend it a little bit if I if I put my my man muscles into it, but it's a pretty, pretty rigid brush. And it's not to the point where it's like metal and scratchy. It's actually bent over on the tip. A lot of the cheap brushes that I found like this have like just like cut off ends right. and they're fucking sharp and scratchy and they'll scratch the shit out of a bowl. This one won't scratch the shit out of a bowl. It's like a, a toilet brush. You know, it's like, it's like made it for like a toilet brush here, the right? purpose of cleaning a bowl. Well, right on Troy. I appreciate that. Yeah. The, uh, you kind of need this if you're going to give a good scrub on a bowl, like the Lobo and the one come with, because I used to do it with the stores and Bickle brush and this is what you'll do. It turns into a bitch brush. Uh, so this this went inside my one over and over and over again and yeah so we needed to come up with something to work better and you're right the, the fibers are stiff as fuck on here and um that it's gonna be hard to wear those side fibers out so anyhow yeah right on man well thanks that's the that's the brush got the plan of the vapes thing on it so that comes with you can buy that separately if you don't have one already dosing capsule we talked about a stir tool uh an extra o-ring for the mouthpiece three extra mouthpiece screens, and then a extract pad, which this thing is sized to go inside the dosing capsule. If you put this in your oven, it'll be a little loose. And As in it's going to flop around. You, you'll, that, that concentrate pad swims around in the oven a little bit too much to be functional because it's yeah. designed to fit in the, in the dosing capsule. Fits here real well. 
And the idea is that if you use dosing capsules to concentrate, you're going to do your vape a favor and not get it as fucked up messy. So you could still load way the fuck on here and get it messy, but that's what we're encouraging. We're probably going to, you know, come out with one that fits the oven as well. Cause that's more standard, but let's see if, if people, you know, latch on to the, the one that actually, you know, is better for your vape. So anyhow, uh, that's a scoop on the dosing capsule. And then, um, that's the box contents, bud. We, we did those. Uh, <clears throat> Oh, um, and the oven holds. You can, here, here's the deal. I like to pack 0.18 grams. Um, I've done a whole bunch of different loads, and for me, that's a full load with with good airflow. And if I do that, we'll get into it later. I can extract it pretty pretty quickly on a bubbler. So um, that's kind of what I suggest. Uh, you pack it. Don't pack it tightly. It's not like a packs. You want airflow on this one, so pack it light. But it does. In my opinion, excel at partial loads. So you don't have to, you know, worry about it. You just pack it half full or pour whatever you want in there and go at it. And I was really impressed with how well it did with that. So give that a shot too when you get one. It does do really good with half packs and shit like that. Just loose pack in the bowl. Works fine. Works fine. Right on. Uh, Firehead MX asks, does the Lobo use the same dosing capsules as the one? No, it's a bigger oven. If you put the one dosing capsules in there, they're going to be small, and I don't think the air will go through it. It'll probably go around it, so I wouldn't do that at all. Bingo. Thanks, Mike. And Lobo dosing capsules won't even fit into one, go the other way around. So it's new dosing capsules. Um, working on some kind of a caddy right now, so we'll see how that may come around, but it's not it's not ready yet. So. Okay. And then with three clicks, it turns on, yeah? One, two, yeah, three. let me pack mine here. You already got yours going? Is yours packed? Yeah, I, I loaded mine when you were talking and I, I was showing it. What I'm temp gonna, you rolling with? Well, right now it's at the 420. I'm going to lower it down to, let's go 370 because this is a sleepy weed and I don't want to fall asleep. Yeah. Right down. So soon. So do this show by myself, man. Let's, let's, let's show off 370. I think 370 is good, is a good temp. What do you, what do you guys vape your bowls at when it's yes. 6 30 p.m. in yeah. a port portable? Let me, let me know in the chat. I want to, I want to say, hey, we got 420 people watching. I want to hear That's from awesome. every every motherfucking one of you. Every one of them. That's a record. So you said 370? 350, 55, 390. You're at 370, bro? 380. I am at 370. Yeah, okay. I we'll just, do, just went, so I'm going to go ahead and hit this thing. We'll do that together. It takes about 45 seconds to heat up to the highest temp. I think really to every temp, it's pretty, maybe 40 to 45 seconds, 40 at the lower or so, so. Um, it's a little slower to heat up than some of the other similar size, but it's, it's quicker than something like uh, stores and big old. So it's kind of in there. Uh, we were happy with anything under 50 seconds, obviously shorter would have been more desirable, but it's 370. Nice. <clears throat> I'm almost there. Nice. That was very and we're nice. using the native stem, right? Yeah. Both of us. Okay. Yeah. I'm using the native and I'm excited to, to get away from the native at 370. It's, it's fine at 370. It's fine. Uh, I found it like 420 though. If I vape a bullet straight at 420, it I, it's a little. I get some like terp bite, like terp harshness. It's like a it's potent enough to to kind of hurt. Right. Potent and warm, you know. Mm hmm. Since you're talking about that, I do have an opinion on this. Oh shit, where to go? Um, bingo. And and Darth Vapor says, "How's it like? How's it? How's it like for temp stepping?" Um, I'm going to answer that kind of long winded, if you don't mind. Um, I, uh, <laughs> when I temp step, I typically like to do the stores and Bickle method where you start at 356, 383 and 410. I just think they nailed it. And I do that on their vapes and I try to do it on others as well. This vape in particular, it extracts quicker. We, we got more calories going into the load than normal. So it's getting a more a faster, more fuller extraction. And I found that when I did all three temps, the middle temp was kind of meh because all the flavor was gone because we extracted it. And then the real fun of the oomph is at the top. So I decided for me on this vape, I prefer a two temp step. I'll pick any low temp you want and any high temp you want. And it's, I found a really good low temp session and a really good high temp session. I like that. So that's what a mouthful of vapor is right there. Like if you do a mouth to lung. Uh-huh. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to tell you about the interface. It's kind of similar to the one you got the set temp, actual temp, 
session timer and the and the battery uh, <laughs> meter. Um, but you can change the session timers from three minutes to six minutes and 50 second intervals. There's a menu you can dive into, switch it for just that. You can do Celsius to Fahrenheit. You can um, flip the screen as usual. Uh, it's got a dark mode, so you can kind of make it go a little dark. And um, shit, there was one more important thing about the screen that I want to see. Oh, and then uh, when it's off, you can push the power button and it'll show you the, the battery meter without having to turn it on. Chill, Mike, we're, I'll tell you what we're trying to do. I'm not going to tell you how it was done. I'll let Planet of the Apes decide if they're going to do that. But basically, we're trying to get a more saturated airstream. So it's sort of like when you're boiling water, you start off with a, a, a kind of a low boil and then it boils more and pretty soon you get a rolling boil. That rolling boil is just more saturated with heat. More stuff is going. When it when it's at a, a, a slower boil, you got some molecules that aren't there yet. So they're just waiting for it to get there. So we want to saturate that airstream, more calories, more heat, not more temperature, more heat, so that when it when it comes through, it just extracts more than it would if it were not there. Does that make sense? So I'm just going with robust robust sized can you tell us how we how you got there like you, you told me the story can you can you share that like because you you talk to the engineer the developer the designer person yeah yeah um i'm no i i'm not going to talk about that i don't know that i have authority to talk about it. like i said if, if that's gonna go out i'll let planet of apes do that you know i, I talked to them about what we could talk about tonight and i said i wouldn't get any of the internal craziness i would just kind of get into the conceptual stuff and they were fine with that so that's a 370 roast right here. I'm, oh, I'm done with mine. It's off. Yeah, mine mine finished four minutes. So what I'm gonna do is uh I'm gonna I'm gonna take I'm gonna take that leftover bowl from the Lobo, put it into an empty glass bowl. Interesting. Science. I'm going to show you my load here after four minutes at 370, kind of light tan. See that well? Does that work? Can you see? Oh, wait. No, I'm not, I'm not on there. Hang on. Here's what I want to show you. There you go. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I've got. That was about, I don't know, four or five hits. I was talking too much to really, you know, know what the fuck. But anyhow, yeah, you get a pretty good... Pretty good cook all the way through. I prefer to pick my favorite temp and just ride with it. I'm not, I found that on this one, you can get it pretty well cooked at whatever temp you want the way you like it. So if I want to go hard at night, I'll probably put it on about 410 or 415. And then during the day, I might go lower. But uh, it also depends. Sometimes these lower temps can, can give me the nervousnesses or whatever you want to call those things. You know, I'm talking about sativa effects kind of thing. So anyhow, um, it's 159.95. So uh, Troy, how does that uh, how does that price fit into things? We started to talk about that earlier today. So yeah, that, to me, to me, 159 is like probably the starting point for somebody who is so, somewhat serious into getting into vaping. Uh, I, I usually ask people like when people come to me and they're, and they're looking for a vape and they ask me like for advice, the, the first thing I ask them is how much do you want to spend? Like how not, not how much can you like, what, what's your ideal budget? You know, cause some people are like 50 bucks and some people are like, right. 800. And, you know, it's like, okay, like we got, we got some shit to work with. So, uh, a lot of people who, uh, around here are like using cannabis medicinally or socially or they just just got recreational or whatever but they don't want to smoke you know they're they're casual cannabis consumers and they're looking to spend 100 150 bucks on average some sometimes 200 bucks mm -hmm. but I, I hear a lot of 150 bucks i hear a lot of 100 bucks uh kind of based on age and kind of based on like True. where they're at in life like a, a lot of the younger students uh and student aged people are more at the 50 dollar, you know for a, a starter 
and then a lot of the the 30 40 50 year olds are you know 100 150 bucks right at least that's been my experience when when going out and and talking about vapes with with people or talking with them in video conferences in the discord well, the, the term budget can be, obviously, it's subjective. You know what I mean? It's what somebody thinks. Some people think 50 is cheap. Somebody might think that's, you know, too cheap. 100 might be the right number. I think that 100 bucks is the, the number that's really accessible to just about anybody. Um, when I look at the marketplace, a lot of those vapes in the $100 spot usually start out at about 130, 140, end up around 100 bucks later. Um, now we're starting to get a little differently there. But when you look at the, the price spread, there's a lot of vapes, like 90 to 130 bucks. Um, a few lower than 90 that are good. And then there's kind of like this jump that goes all the way up to 200 or 250. And then you get another spread of vapes. In that middle, there's a few vapes, but not, not a lot. So this vape for me comes in at, at one, 160. And to me, that's much closer to a budget vape price than what I think you'd have to spend to get equal performance in a portable. Because, I mean, in my opinion, this thing crushes it. I love it. So it, it hits hard and it smacks. I was telling Troy, I was like, what I like about it is it fucks me up. You know, it's just, I like the fact that I get hammered from it. So um, I think that, yeah, I, I think that you got to spend a lot more to get something like that. And in that respect, I think it's kind of like a budget vape, even though it's not totally at that budget point. You mentioned that, you know, budget vapes being about 140 or so at the, at the high end. And then this is only 20 bucks outside of that. So it's not much of a leap for somebody who's in a budget. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's that's exactly it. So sometimes people will have their budget. Like I'm going to spend a hundred bucks and then they see something for 120 and it's like, well, like I can, I can stretch it for, for that. Like there's, there's, there's wiggle room. Uh, But one thing I I, I've noticed with um, budget is like sometimes, sometimes people set a budget without knowing the diversity mm-hmm. of the space so like they just like pull a number Bingo. out of their ass they pull up they pull the pull a number that's based on how much money they have in their wallet or you know how, what what their value to to income is right now so they'll, they'll pull like a like oh, i mean 50 bucks that's like an eighth of weed like okay that 50 bucks is an easy number to set as a low budget but if you show somebody the volcano hybrid be like, hey, check out this uh, six hundred dollar vaporizer. <laughs> yeah, and they'd be like, damn. And then be like, what's what's your what's your ideal budget for a vaporizer if not seven hundred? You know, then the, they might be like, okay, what can I get for a hundred? What can I get for one hundred fifty? Right. You know, I, I think, I think, if you if there's a little bit of more information to to uh, give them a, a depth perception of what's out there like 150 becomes a lot more manageable because like if you compare if you compare the the lobo to the mighty like what does the mighty do that makes it twice the price Mm -hmm. it doesn't hit harder right yeah no i agree that the features are there this will even have more features so no you're right dude it really does come down to perspective so uh right the fuck on man I think I, I, what I'm excited about it is 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 the total package, the value, the features are there, the performance is there, and the price is just kind of makes it all fucking an awesome, solid package. It's a great value, is what you're getting. Yeah, let's get into some of these pieces here. Um, that's the water pipe adapter that Troy has in the box, or not? Yeah, it it is the water pipe adapter. Sweet. I want to see some of those colorful ones you got though, man. Yeah, I'll show you some of this stuff, man. Um here, let me let me pop it over here and switch my camera up. And uh let's go let's go. I have a, a kind of a side view here, side view that I could show you. Um we said shit, let's put some more colors out cuz this vape's going to come in three colors. There's there's black, the standard black. But if you look on the website, there's also a blue and a green, and they're dope looking. And when you, with the three winners tonight, can pick their color. Uh, the, the 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 colored ones are going to be probably two or three weeks later in delivery. I'm not sure, but it, we're not months away. It's 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 coming. So um so anyhow, uh, the colors are awesome. Um, 
but so we said hey let's look at all this fucking glass so we went through all the curb stems and and i had all kinds of colors to fuck with the ones that didn't make it are these yellow and orange ones they were kind of whatever but now we've got green and blue dude those blue are popping i like those blue a lot right they're dope man uh, here you go pink do you have a blue purple. lobo there no i don't my lobo's black the blues the colors are not here yet they're coming but they're not here yet um, the water pipe adapters are cool in color. Check this fucker out, man. I, lo I love these colored water pipe adapters. Dude, yeah, that's tight. Those are dope as fuck. Even the little purple that's a little lighter. Those are cool as fuck, man. So we got, so we got colored water pipe adapters. Um, colored uh, fucking uh, straight bubblers here. Green and blue. Purple and pink again. Of course, the clear is there. So these are the four that we went with on the colors. Uh, there were other colors that were decent, but nah. And then uh, if you wanted a curve bubbler, which is my preferred, you can get the colors in those. Um, and then we've added an extra stem here. Uh, it's the um, it's the glass uh, dimple globe stem. And here's one right here. Uh, this is a, an, an idea of what you'll get. You've got some dimples in the bottom. The short end goes in, and then it when, when it goes into the lobo, it, it plants perfectly right on top there. This is my favorite dry stem. Uh, when I'm around the house and want the higher temperatures, if I'm not going in my pocket so much, I don't like this in my pocket as much as you could. Um, this is a great stem. You get pretty much almost all the cooling you get on the bottom, a little more on the top, and then this globe expands and does, does it as well. So I really recommend this for dry, higher temps. We played around with this, dude. Let me show you some of these. Um, we, had, uh, we had some stems that had balls in them, like big fucking balls. Uh, then we had some that had little balls um, and, and, and more of them. Uh, then we had some that had like fewer, like here's just a few little balls that we were fucking around with and trying to see if the balls did anything. At the end of the day, the balls, for the most part, as soon as you tip the vape, they would kind of go to the side and out of the air path or they would block the fucking holes. So we're like, screw the balls. I had some with carbs. We played with some with carbs right here to see if we wanted to clear them. I was the only one who liked to do that. Everybody else felt like it was just another thing they had to pay attention to. So, yeah. <laughs> so we went with no balls and no carb, easy to use. I've got one right here. There you go. So these are pretty dope. I like these. And uh, I think right now when you get them on pre-order, one of these comes free. Um, Dude, that's cool. Yeah, I kind of dig that. I'll show you some of the stuff we tested that we didn't go with. Like you've seen some of these things, these, uh, these big old stems. These things cool a lot. Um, what I wasn't too excited about is having to clean them. Yeah, and, it fucking sucks to clean, man. Right? All that shit in there. I want that in my in my lungs, not stuck in his glass. So I was like, nah. But those are cool. They cool the shit out of it. They really do. But that was that was not it. Um, so anyhow, there's that. Do you want me to um, show you the uh, the museum over here? Uh, yeah. Do you want to go I, through I, some I, of that? I'm I'm ready to rip this thing on a bong, but like I'm let's do that. Let's rip it on a bong the and then view, come back. Dude. You got that that's a great glass accessory collection. <laughs> it's crazy, man. The blue, man. I love the blue. I'm excited to see the the blue the vape itself. Like the it looks it looks fucking hot on the website, Bro. man. It looks yeah, let me cool. let me just pull it up real quick because I have it right here on my on my thing. Uh, the blue picture wasn't loading for me when I looked a little while ago. I want I wanted to show it off. Let me stop that one and let me pull up uh, this one. This one. Oops. Here you go. This is the product page. Yes. And here's the green, kind of like a foresty, darky, but it's it it's pretty dope. And then uh, the blue is popping. These are great colors. Yeah. Fucking popping. I like that. And on the site, they put up this 3D thing. You click it, and once it loads, what? you can move it around and check this shit Whoa, out. Whoa, dude. I made one of those in Macromedia Flash back yeah. in 1999. Oh, shit. And it was insanely difficult to do, man. It was like so many different images, so many different buttons layered into the, the Flash scripting. Shit, it took me days. A lot of work, man. A lot of work. Well, they're dope looking. I can't wait to see the blue and the green on the glass on the blue and the green vape. But for now, my favorite shit has been these colored water pipe adapters. They just look so dope. I'm not used to that. You know what I mean? I'm not used to seeing a, a colored gong. So anyhow, um, you're going to throw it on a bong, right? I've got, let me show, I actually packed a partial load here. 
Um, I already loaded mine. So, um, yeah, like I 420 was like 10 minutes ago. ago. I guess five minutes ago. I'm going to go, though. I'm going to. I've loaded mine about that much. You see, it's a little little more than half, maybe. So you can see what, what kind of stuff we get on a partial. So I was saying earlier, like when I when I hit this direct at 420, like if I start at 420, it may it makes me cough like a mother. Like I I'm with the dimpled stem, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like I can I can feel the harshness in my throat. I can feel the heat on my tongue. The by the end of my hit. Uh, the the even the tip of the dimpled glass is getting hot like the, the like through the duration of the hit the whole glass stem absorbs so much heat that by the end of my hit the tip of it is like hot to my lips is this like your 15 20 second rippers yeah like when i'm when i'm really hitting it like when i'm, yeah. when I'm trying to when i'm trying to get high that. jerry like that's what i, I do with these vaporizers that. you know <laughs> you're trying to get high man what's up all right so now i'm at 420 all right and this is actually my first long session that i've had with this Oh, right. fuck my Let's ass. It doesn't, doesn't, I guess it does. We're good. All right. Let's see. False, all right. false alarm. They got the, 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 the water pipe adapters, 10, 14 and 20. It fits them all. Sometimes this little tip can be long on some, like the bong we had on here the other day, but, uh, oh, there you go. Yeah. Tori's, Tori's already going at mine's heating up. This has been my preferred around the house. Okay. Right on. That was delicious, man. Like it, right. it wasn't like ball vape vapor, but uh not a ball in it. Not a single <laughs> I ball can confirm in it. that. <laughs> I mean, from one hit, if I show you the load here, I mean you can see that oh you cook that nice. Hey, it got some some cooking. It got some cooking. It did some cooking. And that's the top. That's the top. That's... So you're probably done. I wonder if that. Well, I wonder what a second hit would be like on that. Show, show me if there's. Yeah, hit it and see if there's more to do. Mind buzz. All right, I'm going in. Uh, well, for for the sake of science here, I I feel like we should show the actual ABV. Ow. From one hit. This is just from one hit here. Oh. Well, that's a good one. Yeah, that's cooked. From for me, I'm done there. No, I mean it's it's got it's got at least a couple more hits. In there, oh, I, I just think. depends on what you want, man. <laughs> I think. Wow, let me show you what I just did on one hit on this partial here. There we go. This is. Uh, let me turn it off. So that's. Oh shit! I didn't switch you the cam. I'm just sitting here like a dude. I'm getting high. Um, dun, there's. Dun, uh, dun, dun. And that was one hit for me on my bubbler. At 420. Yeah, dude. Fucker's done. So that's my half partial load. Oh, I love the punch that I feel from this vape. That's what gets me stoked. That's how I feel. I get fucked up. All right. Troy's going in. That was a good hit, actually. But I mean, yeah. I'm sure it tasted different. No, it's, it still had derps. I like it, it, there was okay. still, there was still, there was still flavor in there. Now the, the next hit, I don't know about. I don't know this thing. This thing does more than what I was anticipating, you know, because like the the one, I'm taking seven or eight hits on that thing, no matter what. Like it's right. it, it's not killing a bull in five hits, ever. Right. <laughs> So to even even imagine that this thing is done after two hits is a stretch of the imagination. <laughs> no, it just turned off. Mother bitch. Let me. It'll be right there when you put it back on, though. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the third hit right now. Drop down to 375. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a third hit right now. Test this thing out. It's at 420. Mm -hmm. Third hit. 420. All right. So Moose said, uh, "I have not." You can't, you're not going to combust in this thing. I haven't combusted it. I put hundreds of balls through it. Not a chance. I don't know what you'd do to, I mean, maybe if you, if I bet if you packed it really tightly with a bunch of used ABV that had nothing left and turned it way up and did a super slow draw, you might be able to convince it. This vape likes a, uh, an, I remember it likes a lighter, lighter pack. You can get airflow. So, uh, 
No, but I've never, I've never done that. That's probably I'd have to do it. Get the fuck <laughs> out of it. Totally hit it fucked up wrong. I don't even know if it would then. It only tops out at four thirty on the on the scale. With a nice lips there, Troy. Tell me about that third one. You're looking baked. Yeah. I'm gonna pack another one. Ooh, I get to I get to grind my purple herb now. Another uh, one. Right on. Uh, what else do I want to say here, man? I will say this. Um, it, it, it's become what I use when I go out it, or if I don't want to have a session here with one of my beasts plugged in from somewhere else. This little fucker and, and, the, and the, this thing on here, man, I'll pack that and put it by the nightstand for like a nightcap so that if I, if I can't sleep, I'll grab that. Turn it way up and take a couple of hits, man. It, you will feel it. And then uh, I had it downstairs for around the TV. So it just, it, it hits me hard enough to where I like to take it places I normally would come upstairs for, if that makes sense. I'm going to try a fourth hit, Jerry, just for science here. Science it up, brother. <laughs> well, the V3 Pro is kind of different. We've, I'll get into it later, but we, we're, we're controlling this more. You don't have as many... Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, that didn't yeah. The fourth hit was pretty dead. Done. Far out. So, so. Yeah. Okay. Three, three hits. Three, three hits on the bung. At four twenty, pretty much fucking killed it. Right the fuck on, brother. That's pretty respectable, if not impressive. Right there, I gotta say, that's pretty. That's pretty respectable. Glad you found that, man. That's awesome. I'm going to go ahead and load it for you on cam. Show you what it's like to have this fucker in your arsenal. Oh, yeah, that's that's done. Nice. <laughs> this actually, it works pretty good. This, this works nice for a little ABV showcase. Right? I love that. I don't know what it's fallen on. Hopefully, not your keyboard. It's, an, it's fallen into my hand. Okay. <laughs> oh, perfect. That's a good shot, man. That's fucking great. Here, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and... straight into the trash can. That's that's roasted. Three hits. I mean, I, technically, I took four hits, but the fourth <laughs> hit, there wasn't shit in mm -hmm. that. You know, there was just like a little bit of vapor. Wasn't worth it. Right on. Capping at three. If you take shorter, normal person, five to six second hits. You're gonna go six to eight hits to to finish a load. That's what I found on a consistent basis. I mean, your mileage may vary, but that's probably the that's probably gonna be where it hits. So uh, let me show you. I'm gonna I'm gonna um, go ahead and load one up and show them uh, show them uh, what what it's like to have this thing. So basically, here we are. Voila. Oh, let me show you while I'm at it. Check this out. Uh, what other thing that we wanted to make was a, a vape that was easy to clean, you know, and not much maintenance. I tell people all the time, when you're done, brush off that screen, empty out the oven before it cools down. You won't have to clean shit for a long time. But when it is time to clean, all you got to do is take the glass piece and soak it in water and then take. Uh, Where is that? I have that stir tool around here for this purpose. Shit. Okay, well, I'll use the brush that I always use, but you can use a stir tool or anything that'll fit down in there. And all you got to do is pop the screen out. You just, and the screen's out and soak that. Then all that's left is up here, you could wipe this down with um, with a alcohol wipe if you want or an alcohol Q-tip. Maybe go way down in the well and hit that top bit a little bit, but I'm not sure how necessary that'll be depending on how you use it. If you use a lot of concentrate and take the stem out in a lot, you might get something, but with flour... I went through dozens and dozens of bowls. You just pop it right back in. So easy to maintain. You just pop the screen out, soak that in the glass. And then when it's time to put it back together, push it in. And that's it. As far as loading, if you've seen the one, you've seen what we're doing here. It's very similar. Um, they, the bowl is a little bigger than, than the one. So it this scoop fits in even more. But basically, when I pack it, here's what I like to do. I like to get it full and that's pretty full. And I can tell that it's, it's firm. That's a firm. I don't want to mash it in there. Don't mash it in. Just kind of get it to where you can tell it's kind of firm. And for me, that will give you 
the best like if you want to do what troy just did that that's a great way to pack it so anyhow i didn't see what that said man anyhow um then you just throw this puppy on the bubbler well first turn it on three clicks to turn it on you got the temp to do here i was just at 420 with troy on that last one uh that was fun and i use that temp a lot on the bong so i'm going to keep it um you can see that i'm at four minutes here if you wanted to um get into the settings menu I believe it's the power and down button at the same time. Nope, that's dark mode. So that's that's the dark mode, power and down. You push it in again and now you're bright. And then power and up will get you into the menu. You can uh, flip the display by pushing that. Um, you can uh, change the temp from Celsius to Fahrenheit and the timer you can go in and change from three to six minutes in half minute intervals. Uh, I'm going to put this at 430 just for the hell of it because I'm in there. Oh, it just buzzed Wait. at 420. How'd you do that again? Uh, power and up will get you into the menu. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. So then... Uh, oh, when we did the time. unboxing, I, we, I forgot to talk about where the little storage thing is because I opened it upside down like a dip turd, Jerry, like a dip turd. I opened it upside down and then I went immediately into like the vape but like, the book and all the cool mm. paperwork and stuff is in this like little cool. thing. It feels all official. Like I, I like it when they do this because it feels official. It's like when, when you get right. in a new car and like all the fucking paperwork and shit is like in that special book and you just keep that little book in the glove box. And it's like a special nice. thing. It's kind of like this special place for the paperwork that you forget about until you need it if you ever need it right i like that that was cool uh the lobo heats up in 40 to 45 seconds so it's about 10 seconds slower than the one uh the giveaway you can be twitch or youtube when we get to it you know just sweat it you're good yeah i apologize i saw that question earlier and i, I was waiting for jerry to shut up so i could answer it and then i i, I know and then i was waiting I, for I got... you to shut up and it's just crazy man yeah so. well i got distracted you know no you're good man uh, concentrate, dude, if you like, um, sandwiching, that's the best way to go. Always, always. So yeah, you do it in a dosing capsule. You'll, you'll thank me later. You really can fuck up a, a vape by doing that direct in a, in a portable vape where it's, you just can't remove the bowl and wash it. So, um, I, I suggest that in the dosing capsule. I agree. I agree. I, twaxing is, is the way to go and portables and, and go smaller than you, you think you 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 want to dab uh larger dabs a lot of times just make more reclaim in your your cooling units and in the mouthpieces and stuff like that so go go smaller than you think you you need Ooh. and then yeah uh, i agree you can always add more right always start small on that shit man uh, um I've, I've noticed like when you add concentrates it also it, it extends the life of the the ABV, like your ABV may be dark, but it'll still keep producing vapor. Yeah, you know, I think you're just like, <sighs> yeah, it's, it's like soaked up. It's like it's that drives me nuts. I'm, I've been thinking about that a lot lately. I'm, I'm gonna get into that at some point when I have something. But let's do some more questions, man. The oven, yeah. uh, you're gonna see the oven advertises 0.2 grams. You know, depending on the grind, whatever, uh, that's that's the most I would put in. You can put more in, but you'll you'll see it. It'll cook unleave, unleavenly more like the bottom will be darker than the top. The taste can go sour quicker. Um, you know, you'll get to that end taste sooner. So I would keep it keep it less than that and you'll get stellar performance. Yeah, and it kind of uh, it kind of depends on if you're doing like three huge hits like I just did and stirring in between or if you're sipping on it and taking like eight hits. You know, if you're packing a big bowl and, and sipping on it, it's gonna it's gonna turn turn sour before the whole thing is done. is cooked. But if you're taking big yeah. rips and then stirring it a couple times or even just once, Ooh uh, it seems pretty capable to cook it even. Yeah, dude, it fucking it'll it'll do it, man. Um, look at this, man. I fucking tore that one up. Um. Does it fully roast without stirring? I didn't stir this at all. And I didn't stir during, in, I mean, I stirred obviously because I like to every now and then, but during my testing, it was a very important that I don't 
stir. We wanted to judge this on a no stir ritual. What else we got here for questions? Got any more up here? Let me see what else we got. Did I miss some down here? Notice that the vape doesn't seem to get all that hot. Like I, I just ran it three cycles in a row at 420. Mm -hmm. And the body, I mean, it's, it's warm, but it's not, it's not like Da Vinci IQ hot. No, no, not at all. That, that was so not an issue that I couldn't even tell you what temp it is. It was like, I never, I never had an issue. Like, you know, it is, you, you feel when you go, I'm going to measure that to see. Uh, no, it was nothing more than a, a nice little hand warmer. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> hmm. All right. So let's see here. Um, medium Most meme, enter the sure. giveaway, stick around. You're going to be answering questions. Pay attention and answer questions. Uh, and we're going to do it three times and you'll have three winners. We're not doing that now. That's at the end. Um, all right. So you want to, can I, can we talk about development a little bit and I show you some, uh, some shit? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. How many iterations do you got here? About 10. Well, right here, I'm missing one, but I have 10 here present. Uh, okay. Plus the box version, which is which is 11. So anyhow. Um, oh, perfect. Thanks, man. We'll switch it up. Uh, anyhow, um, actually, this isn't one. This is an example of uh, size-wise. Like I noticed somebody online said, hey, that looks like a Phoenix Pro. So I have a Phoenix Pro here. Um and uh, it's it's a little different on the shape, definitely right in on the size. Uh, basically, the goal was to get a vape that um, ran on a replaceable 18650 and then as small as possible. Turns out that was the size, only they didn't do a replaceable battery on it. Um, and in the beginning, um, we were looking at things like the one and or like we did with the one and go, OK, is, is it better to develop our own vape or to um to take something out there and tweak it because obviously done real well with the one and the starry kind of tweaking those and getting the way to go so we started out looking at things like here's an early model that um here let me get this instead because this will be better this day i'll just fit it with the other fucking things all night um Ooh, we, we got go. the fancy light so here's here's a couple of early models that came in and uh the bottoms these these battery back back in I was talking about these battery lids and saying I like it with the quarter thing I like that, but then um, someone says yeah but then you have to have a quarter let's let's make it so it'll work with the hand as well so this got changed almost immediately it was always USB C, uh, and then we were looking at different things here I think at this point in the early on stage these are from two different manufacturers that, that we were going through there was a third one as well. Um, we, we saw that, okay, there's a lot of silicone here. We got to make that a focus and get rid of the silicone. And so there was, there was some focus on that. It was always a magnetic lid again, a different type, but still that's all silicone there. So we're like enough of that. So, um, this was a long time ago. That was maybe over a year ago. I'm not sure this, this setup here was a fun test. Once we figured out that we were going to do our own vape instead of take somebody's in and, uh, and, and fuck with it. We figured, okay, in that case, we know about the size bowl we want, but it's important that we get um, a more robust heater. And so this iteration was sent to me to test, and I tested the shit out of these. And we had another set for somebody else as well. But we were looking at, okay, does the, does the heater size matter in this particular configuration? Because sometimes it would, sometimes it wouldn't. And on the bottom, you can see here, um, this one has 10 turns in the coil. This one has 11 and this one has 12. So people who've done their own e-cig coils would know what that's all about. But basically that means this one has one extra loop and this one has two extra loops. And so we wanted to say, okay, well, let's test that and see if the sizes make a big difference. So anyhow, uh, that was a fun test. Uh, in the end, I don't, I don't, that wasn't, that wasn't what got us to the heater we have today. Um, so once we decided that wasn't going to really do it, uh, this one came in and this is the first one that had the heater design that we have now back then we called it the two. Um, we didn't let anybody know that there was one time I did a live stream on POTV's channel for something, I don't know, 420 or something. And one of the tabs on my screen that they could see said the two on it. I was like, Oh fuck. I hope they didn't see that. So internally we always called it the two until we got to the end and chose a name. But, uh, so we had that on there and we had, had them send that in. We ended up having a, a quarter 
groove and a pinch. And I thought, oh, great solution. That'll work. This is also where we change the buttons. On the, uh, on the earlier ones, the buttons were still kind of one-ish, you know? I love the new buttons. Good. I'm glad, man. You'll, you'll see they, they're flat, whereas these stick out. You see how they stick out a little bit on the old ones? So I like that these are flat. You know, if you put it down on that side, you're not fucking the buttons up. Um, you know, it's just a little better, longer wear and tear. This this particular one, we had to tell them, hey, man, this outer surface is fucked up. Uh, but this is when we got those buttons going. And it's also when we said, fuck the super, the super duper hangover that these other ones had. Sorry, glass. Sheesh. That big lip. We didn't like that lip. And it didn't oh, seem yeah. to make any difference. So we said, fuck that. Put that back on here. And now we've got our no big ass silicone in there. You know, we just got the O-ring outside the peak. So now we finally have this solution. And like I said, this one, when this one came in, it had the heater. And I went, whoa, okay, wait a minute. This one, this one, this one's different. What are we doing here? And and uh, they didn't tell me what they did at first. Uh, so I just, I was kind of surprised by it, which is fun. And it worked. And uh, anyhow, so this vape was great. And it was, it was crunching. And at this point, we realized, okay, we need to, we need to rein this in. We need to, we need to control it more. So we spent one iteration of changing things to control the heat more so they wouldn't overdo it. We're still calling it the two at this point. And then I don't have the second one uh, with me. I have the third one here um, at this point. See, we're putting the two on, on the, on the thing. See how that looked. We wanted to see how does it look when the, when it's actually on the button and testing shit, all the different, all kinds of different things to test in these. Um, everything here is pretty much still the same. But at this point, after this iteration, we did one more reining things in, and then this one became the 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 alpha model the, or whatever this comes out to that was that had the configuration that we want that performed the way we wanted, and uh, was was crushing it all the way through our battery. So this one uh, was called uh, Blueberry for some reason, but anyhow, Blueberry is a motherfucker. I love it, Blueberry. These are the same now. The production model you have that says POTV on it down here instead of what isn't the name and then says Lobo on the on the buttons instead of uh, what isn't the name. So <laughs> so anyhow, that's kind of how we went through it. Um, one thing I'll say, Troy. Uh, well, I mean, unless you had any questions about that, then I was going to say something else. No, I don't. I don't have any questions. That was that was a fun little journey. Thanks for sharing right. that with us. Cool. Um it, it kind of brings up a topic you and I talked about recently where when you make all these changes over and over and over again, um, or, you know, you keep changing and changing at some point you feel like, are we ever going to get there? And, and in every project, there's a point where, uh, you're going, you, you have to go or you don't go at all. And so it's you always, ship fun it. to, yeah, right. You gotta, sh it's, it's time, man. It's time. And, and you can always make it better. When we had uh, the guy from Vivana in the sesh after the show last week, he, he said that he was like, Hey man, uh, you know, it's never, it's never done. Right. And I was like, holy shit, you're right, man. Because there are, there will always be little things I'd want to tweak, but this thing nails the performance for me. I love the versatility of the, of the ecosystem that Planet of the Vapes has built. It's got the removal battery, all the controls that I want. I'm just really, really satisfied with this vape. And I can't wait to get the opinions of the fucking people we're going to get. I can't, I just can't wait for people to get it and hear what they think. You know what I mean? I'm excited. So anyhow. Yeah. <clears throat> I I'm excited as well because uh, at at first I I kind of assumed this vape was a little bit just like the rest, just like a, a better version of them. But after after ripping it harder and pushing it harder, uh, that's that's where the difference is. Where where those other vapes don't really go when I, when I push them, this one, this one does this one. This one has a little bit more to give. I will right say on, that. Man. Right on brother. Cause do, do you remember when we first started talking about it and, I, and, and, and I was kind of like pushing you to say, say it again. And, and then saying that I wasn't getting the, the same thing. Or I was saying the same feeling right away because I just wasn't pushing it. Mm -hmm. I wasn't, I wasn't hitting it. Like, cause I, I already, I had already learned the limits of like the, the POTV one. 
you know, there's only so much that that little coil can give in terms of, of output. Right. So hitting it as hard as I could would overpower it to the point where it's like diminishing returns on the energy that I'm putting into the hit. But with this, this one, like I can crank it up to 430. Got a fresh bowl in there. I just loaded a fresh bowl. Bro, say goodbye to Troy, by the way. I've done this before. <laughs> 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 it's just something potent about the fucking vapor I get out of this thing. It's all the it's all that quicker release in the vapor, I guess. I don't know, but it's just potent. Sometimes I come away and, I, and my hits might not be the biggest, but they're still so fucking potent. Look at that shot. Beautiful model Troy modeling the vapor. <laughs> Man, it was so delicious. This, know, brother. this strawberry. Wow. wow. It's satisfying. Very satisfying. Look at the cook. Look at the cook on that. From one one hit there. Remember, that's the top. The heater's on the bottom. Uh, yeah, it's the top. Far out, man. I'm getting yeah, stuck. The, the, one, the one didn't hit like that. Checking out the chat here, too. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, dude, it is very pocketable. Hey, Bana, it's definitely in the, in the pocket. I dig it, man. Is this hit number two for you, Troy? That's another good one. That's going to be a good hit. Yeah, I mean, the the fresh and fruity terps were gone on after mm -hmm. the first hit. So the second hit had more of the robust flavors, kind of the earthy, the spicy tones, a little bit of like pine and rubber, hot, <laughs> hot, <coughs> spicy. Yeah. Aftermath. Uh, judging this on on the how, how the third hit was last time, I don't know if I want to take a third hit. I, I don't, bro. I don't. When I'm taking my big hits, I'll stop after one. I'll, and sometimes I'll do two and I'll go, okay, I didn't have to. On the higher temps, you know what I'm saying? On a bubbler. But you got some good taste on that on the second one. So maybe I should start trying some more second hits. What do you guys think? Should I should I take a third hit for the team? I mean, I know, there, I know there's vapor in the third hit. But as far as terps and flavor and effects... Yeah, let's let me show you. Let me show you what the third hit at four thirty does with the Lobo. <laughs> Just for the, the sake of the show, you guys got to see it, right? Got to see it. Yes, yeah, so you can already see it. There, there wasn't as much yeah. vapor. Yeah, it's pretty pretty washed out, which kind of I like. like. Wet, wet paper, wet cardboard, kind of. Yeah. But we talked about how, you know, some of them just keep on going even when it's just going, and you don't know what the fucks up. I, I was I was satisfied that this thing stopped when it was done. You know what I mean? Just that like it didn't let you just keep getting what the fuck. I love this shot. <laughs> there it comes. I like how lightly packed that was, man. That's beautiful. Dude, that shit's cooked. You said you had three hits on that, right? Okay. Yeah. It's and you're not you're pouring it on your keyboard. No, it's going into my hand. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. That's the last thing. Son yeah, of a it, bitch. Was, it was hanging yeah, on. That's, that's, here. that's fucking done, bro. If we can get it to focus. Uh, almost. That almost. Oh, there you go. Right there. Right there. There you are. That'll do it. Onion wants you to eat it. <laughs> okay, onion. look. Are you the okay. are you the onion that I went to school with? <laughs> onion? That'd be hilarious if you are. All right, here's the deal, Troy. I'm reading the chat and these guys are itching to get get do a giveaway. So, yeah, I uh, bet, man. I do bet. we do we have more that we need to say? Let me let me just look at our list here because I know I'm getting fucked up and I'm gonna forget something. Oh, here we go. 
Um, oh, the hundred day. Oh yes, no, Tell no about hassle that. return policy is the coolest fucking shit in the world. Seriously, for for new vaporists, for somebody who not sure if I'm gonna like vaping, that's a, a, a badass guarantee right there. Uh, that's true. Hundred days is what Planet of the Vapes is giving you on the Lobo for you to return it for a how, what's the full policy jerry can you i don't yeah, want to basically it. they always have a 14 day satisfaction guarantee there where if you don't like your shit in 14 days you can return it no questions asked you can get your money back now i always told them we will ask questions because we want to know what the fuck we didn't communicate because we want you to we want to get it right the first time so you know it's like okay so what where we miss where do you think we whiffed here and then we either, you know, trade you out for something else or get your money, you know, whatever. It's a great policy. That's 14 day guarantee. I don't have to worry about it. And with the Lobo, these guys are going with a hundred day satisfaction guarantee. So you could pre order this thing today and decide after Thanksgiving if you want to keep it. <laughs> I was like doing the, I was looking at the calendar going, wait a minute, man. <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, that's, that's a long time. That's some Costco shit, man. That's some like where you buy the buy the mattress and sleep on the mattress for two years and be like, oh, actually, you know what? I want a different mattress and you exchange it for something at Costco, right? You know, we're, uh, that's 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 good. That's that's a lot of confidence. Like Planet, was, Planet of the Vapes has a lot of confidence in this vape to say you got a hundred days with it. Yeah, yeah, that's that's ballsy, man. But. It's, it's what I've been using, man. It's what I've been using. And and from the people that I've shared it with so far, the reactions have been positive and, and very encouraging. So um, anyhow, man, let's see here. What's going on here? Uh, thanks, nice, not thanks. public. Appreciate it, man. That's awesome. Thanks, bro. Sissy <laughs> Bakes high too, man. Where is that? that yeah, one, I'm, I'm ripped. This thing got me, got me pretty good. Right. I mean, right it's on, not yeah. like ball vape high, but for a portable, it spanks. That's a spanking portable. Awesome, bro. That's why I take it out with me, man. I'm so stoked you dig it. That's fucking awesome, man. Um, let's give away some of them, bro. Here's the deal. Um, that you can pre-order them now. Uh, I don't know when they're gonna ship because those things always get fucked up, but I think it's about a week or something. Bottom line is they're great at communicating. You'll you'll know, you won't have to ask, you will know when it's coming. And if it gets delayed, you'll know, you'll know right away. So but uh, I expect that they'll all probably be out in the mail in two to three weeks. And then the colors will probably be two to three weeks after that. So when, if you, one of these that you win, you can, you can pick your color and you're not going to wait much longer, but the colors are dope. So anyhow. Um, yeah, that's, that's the deal. Um, it was, a, but you can pre-order it now. I think I've said, all I want to say about that, Troy, cause I'm starting to get high and fuck with myself. Um, Something about giving one away or giving yeah, we're gonna one give away three away we're gonna give three away so we're gonna do our usual fun giveaway see who is listening and uh you don't have to worry about being fast because we're not picking the first answer we're we're gonna go with every time tonight the 42nd answer because that worked really well last time that was a good number to use because so it's 420 seconds. but not outrageous i'm not gonna do 420 so it's kind of like 420 yeah. without the outrageousness so it's, it's 42 it's, it's perfect and, and it doesn't matter if you're on youtube or on twitch it doesn't matter that's right and we're going by what's on our screen so it's what we, we're, we're, we're seeing is like a uh combined version of of both so what we're seeing is going to be different than what you're seeing so we're, we're counting by our shit and what jerry says goes <laughs> right on brother <laughs> that's awesome that's how it works <laughs> so get your computers get ready I'm gonna hey, have a sip of water here. I'm getting dehydrated. Yeah, it's the thirty. Like we're, it's still gonna be. That's how it works. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go. I got three questions for you. Each one wins. First question, I wrote it down so I wouldn't fuck it up. Uh, let's see. Including black, how many colors are there with the Lobo that you can get right now on pre-order? Just told including them. including black including black how many colors oh here come the answers so i'm gonna i'm gonna start counting. troy you are on the clock because i'm counting 
Huh? 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 Hey, Jerry. I'm counting. Yeah, it'll be a minute. What? Really? Yeah, yeah you're going by so fucking fast. Time. You were telling stories last time. That's that. Yeah, was but I didn't like long. thirty. I mean, thirty-three is the yeah. story, and I keep seeing. I keep seeing thirty-threes. Remember the story that I told last week when I was about the bus driver slapping me in the head? The number that I shouted was thirty-three. Like I was like thirty-three. And he's like, gave me the look, and then he smacked me. He smacked me fucking hard, Jerry. Yeah, he smacked me fucking hard. I mean, it was hilarious, but like, made my eyeballs like come out of my head a little bit. He slapped me in the back of the head so hard. Everybody oh, laughed. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, here's your winner. I don't know who this guy is. You won't either. Because <laughs> he's John Doe. John kid. Doe. Congratulations, John Doe from Detroit, motherfucker. The answer was three. There's black, blue, and green. All right, so you are on YouTube. So that's dope. Um, nice. You got a YouTube winner. Congrats, yeah. John Doe. Let me see. what. I, oh, I need a keyboard. Dude, I am fucking high off this fucking thing. Yeah, take notes. <sighs> Thank you. Let me see here. We're going to go here and here. Oh, we're um, getting the narration of Jerry opening sublime yeah. text. What, do you, what are you going to take notes in, Jerry? Uh, in um, Google Notepad. Doc right Google now. Docs. So I, have some, I have a setup for it already. So this is oh. John Doe from YouTube. Let me put you in here. So John Doe, here's how it works. You uh, go ahead and um, email us, email me at Troy, I'm typing it in now, and Jerry thinkdank at gmail.com. Jerry, think, think of that's the email in the chat right there, John Doe, to uh, hit us up on. And, uh, oh, geez, I got to get to the bottom here. I'll just go here. All right, so you got that? Okay, there we go. People are putting that out there for me. Jerry Stickstones and myself. Uh, John Doe, has John Doe piped up and said uh, he, he, he heard he won? Tell me you did, John Doe. I'm looking for you. Did anybody know? Did anybody, did anybody get notification from John Doe from YouTube? Yeah, John Doe, you out there? You understand? You're you getting it, man. You understand your mission? <laughs> you, I know you're there. So right now you're, we know you're there, bro. I know you're there, motherfucker. You want this vape? Listen up. Email email me at that email address, uh, Troy and Jerry think they get gmail.com. And then uh we'll start talking. I'll also confirm through your YouTube that you're the one. So we got you covered. Uh anyhow, I'm just gonna get your address, confirm your your uh well, Planet of Apes will confirm your age and all that shit. So, uh, so anyhow, uh, congrats, dude. John Doe, rock right, and roll. He, he said yes. He, he said yes. yes. Okay, he's out there. Perfect. All right, sweet. Yes. All right, cool. Then uh, uh, let's do another he, one. You want to do another one? You guys excited? You like fucking get, getting vapes? I love giving away vapes, man. Let's do another one. Let's see. I did that man, one. I had a flashback there. Cher Cherry, Cherry uh, mentioned Ultra Edit. That was funny. Okay, all that's, right. let me send me on a super flashback. Okay, I got I got the question. You ready? You, cool, you yeah. flash back while I tell the, the question. This one is easy. What's your favorite glass piece out of all these ones I showed you? Not color, but the ones that you could pick from. What's your favorite one? There's a curved bubbler, a straight bubbler, the bent stem, the dimpled stem that comes with the uh, dimpled glass globe. And then uh, the water pipe adapter. I don't care which one's your favorite. They're all right answers. I'm looking for the 42nd. Troy, go. Oh, okay. I was confused by that one because of all the, the variety of answers that it could be. But yeah, ultra, ultra edit. When I, my first, my first real job, like post college, I was a, a programmer and I got hired as a, as a webmaster for this newspaper. And I, I used a, a certain software and then my boss always referenced this ultra edit software and he always wanted me to use ultra edit for my programming and for all these search and replacing all these different functions and shit. And he was always referencing ultra edit, like over the, the course of the years that I was there, he was always, always referencing ultra edit. And then one day when I saw the car that he drove, and his license plates were like UE7982 or something like that. And, and uh, I, I joked with him that his license plates were UE for, for Ultra Edit because he was such a fucking Ultra Edit fanboy. 
Dude, that's perfect. Yui. Yeah. You call that Yui? I love it. I got your winner. All right, good. You're gonna love this because we had a quote from this one earlier, or a question or something. Azra sure. Sashima. Azra Sashima. Congratulations, Azra Sashima. Another YouTube winner. That's good, man. Last week they were mostly. Um... Yeah, last week they were both on Twitch, and I saw the YouTube people like, I don't think they were fucking seeing our shit. And, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, we see you, baby. We see you. So, congratulations, Azra. Let's uh, let me see. Um, let me see if I can find you. Did you did you get noticed? Did you pop shop uh, post in the chat. That's what I'm saying. I know you're here. Is she? Yeah, you heard. Okay, good. I see. I see you there. You, you All right, perfect. It. Same thing, Azra. Email us at the same thing I put before. Don't let me type it again right now. It's Troy and Jerry Think Tank at Gmail dot com. Uh, I will also hit you up on the YouTube's. Uh, I don't, I don't think I can. You're probably gonna have to message us, but one way or another, we're going to use that to confirm you. And then we'll get your address over the planet of the vape. So confirm your age and you'll pick the color. What's the email address again? Troy and Jerry. Think tank. At think gmail tank at gmail.com. You got it, brother. That's the one. Congratulations, man. This is awesome. You know, All right, we got you, you know that with Gmail, you can, you can basically put periods to your address. Like, anywhere and it'll still they'll still come to you so like planet dot of dot the dot vapes yeah like or, if you have that email like at troy and jerry think tank dot com or at gmail dot com if you were to do like troy dot and dot jerry dot uh, yeah it annoying. would still it, yeah it would still show up well, and you can you can use that as a way to like filter like if you give somebody a, a certain dotted email address and then they share it, like you know who shared your email there address. You All right. Firehead, it's not. I'm seeing them all. I see Twitch, YouTube, Twitch, 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 YouTube, YouTube. They're all mixed in, man. Our screen, they're all mixed in. So it's not like I'm so, I saw 42 YouTubes and no Twitches. They're all there. We see it all. Go, Troy. <laughs> Troy, I love it, man. All right, so one more to give away. Yeah, we we stone, but we giving away vapes, right? We stone, but we giving away vapes too. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let me one hit some coke. Hit some coke. By the way, did I mention that I basically got ten four minutes? Yeah, I talked about the battery life because I didn't check it off. Are you ready? You ready? Are you ready? No. If you're at your Wait. screens, Jesus. we're gonna do it again. Again, the forty second answer. Correct answer, but again, this is an easy one. This is an easy one. You can, there are no wrong. Well, it's, it has to be a right answer, but there are tons of right answers. And all I care about is the 40 second tons of right answers. So the question is on the Planet of the Apes logo, what's your favorite feature? Anything you want. What's your favorite feature? Unless you say something that's not a feature. Bring it. Uh huh. I see that semen. What? Okay, you see that semen in. where? <laughs> yeah, I mean, somebody posted semen. I'm like, yeah, I see that. All right, where the fuck this thing? Okay, I got Holy it. shit, they're rolling by. They are. I got to start grabbing something here. Hang on. Um, yeah, that's that's a lot. That's a that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Like if I had to answer that, uh, I know a lot of people are just going to be like removable battery because man, people really want the removable battery. I don't give as many shits about the removable battery. So for hmm. me, for me, I think my favorite feature is the number of bowls I can get per battery, nice. which seems to be like up there, like seven plus. So I need, I need to do more official testing before I release a, a number because I... I've only had to charge it twice. And the first time I didn't do a good enough job of counting. And the second time I didn't do a consistent job of vaping my bowls. So my, my testing is kind of inconsistent. So I need, I need, I, I need to vape more weed, Jerry, to get the real, the real right. numbers here. Right. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. This is great. Yeah. And our winner. All right. Who we got? You know him. We know him. 
It's that's that's wonderful. I bet he already. I bet he already bought one. Probably, Uh, probably, and he'll probably share. He's he's amazing. Anyhow, here's here's the thing. (laughs) For one, Monster Without Borders is going to be a a wonderful product tester because if there's any if there's any little quirks in the temperature systems or in the software. He's gonna find it, and he's gonna he's gonna let Planet of the Apes know. That's fucking and, awesome. We love you. And he's also gonna he's gonna he's gonna test this thing at t- low temperatures and consistent use at like different stepping ranges. I I I, I vape I session with Monster nice uh, frequently, and the the amount of science and thought that he puts into his cannabis consumption is fucking remarkable and and impressive. Uh, he vapes in really small increments and small amounts, and he's like a, an extraction efficiency guru. Maybe. I love the way he, he does his shit. And he's also a vaping evangelist, and he spreads the, the vaporization love. He's, he's always out there uh, pushing and, and giving, giving vaporizers to people to get them into dry air vaporizers. So he's he's a good one. He's That's one of the good awesome. ones. We love you, Monster. Thanks, man. He's been around forever too, man. I love him, man. He's, he's hey. and I don't mean that, but I mean like he's <laughs> he's been vaping like 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 he he he. Yeah, he was va- he, he was he vaping when me. I was born. Basically, he was like yeah, exactly, man. I mean, he was like, oh man, I remember reading some of your posts that really helped me out, and then I said, really, like what? And he quoted something from like 2010. I was like, holy shit, man! <laughs> like I love this guy. <laughs> so yeah dude he's awesome i love it when people like that uh come away with something so uh fucking congrats man you don't need to uh reach out uh, i'll find you and uh i'll hit you up through discord and we'll uh we'll get together there and get your shit i got i i literally have his address on my clipboard oh right the fuck on man so actually that's probably good. not anymore but it was on my clipboard today or yesterday so yeah that's fucking awesome congrats monster man super stoked all right cool well we got the winners um anything else you want to say about this we've only been at it like 10 minutes over this is great <laughs> if there isn't over you know we usually aim for 90 <laughs> minutes and now we're gonna get another are we gonna do a bowl can we do another bowl she is the pope shit in the woods all right then i like that i i will I, does he I, I don't know that i could even confirm or disconfirm any of that. <laughs> <laughs> well the pope shit in the woods so this little included brush. There you go. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, baby. Guys, I hope you uh, enjoyed tonight with us. And uh, we dug fucking giving away vapes and showing you this thing. I hope that uh, those of you who, who get this thing uh, love it and and tell me about it, uh, especially if there's something that, that you see that, you know, that uh, either could be improved or didn't uh, consider something that's in your ritual or your needs or, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'd love to hear uh, how you vape or whatever. So um, we got comments here on the on the blog post that hopefully you're watching us on. You can just hit us up down there. We're starting to check that more often. You guys are there now, man. I don't know if I squeezed this in earlier when we were talking about that that tiny little O-ring. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I got a chance to say it and I think I got distracted. But when I first popped it off, I I was kind of concerned because a lot of times these these tiny O rings like this mm-hmm. they have a habit of like being difficult to put on and get in the right little groove. And after after popping it off, I was like, oh shit, did I fuck it up? This is gonna be a pain in the ass. I went to put it back on, it it snapped back into place so quickly. Nice. That I was like, holy shit! Like, did I just like accidentally do it you know, but no man it it it's so easy to to put back into place nice uh, dude I, it, it was re, it was remarkably easy to put on there so somebody awesome, put some bro. refinements into that for sure we wanted to make it easy man easy to clean you know less time fucking around more time vaping you know or less time vaping if you want to extract really quickly like we're about to do on these bongers on these bonkers okay my vape is packed <laughs> I gotta grind. I gotta I'll grind wait. More. I'll wait, man. I'll I wait grind, for you. I ground up the, the biggest. <sighs> My dog's scratching at the door. Like, 
Let me in. You guys are asking about some comparisons. I personally don't want to get into that. I, I you know, as, as a manufacturer, I'm, I'm representing somebody who made this thing, and I, I don't want to get into that kind of stuff. I've made the, I've done the tests, so I do have an opinion, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go out there. I'm, I want to know what you guys think. So, you want to know what this thing is like compared to the Mighty? Tell me, man. You tell me compared to anything you want. I want to know what you think, man. Totally. I'll tell you. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Uh, yeah, go to my website if you want to see that kind of shit. All right. Whew, oh, this is beautiful. And this is the last one. This is why is that? I mean, this is the last one of this of this stash. Oh, you can get into the end of it right on. Respect that. <laughs> Onion, that's funny, man. Oh, yeah, we used to do that, remember? We used to every now and then. Hey, can you make me bigger? I'm sorry. Yeah, I was reading chats. No, I'm going to try to Oh, that's hot. I like that. But now it's out of focus. It was good a second yeah, yeah, yeah. ago. Oh, now it's good. I'm, now it's good. Don't move. Stop. I'm going I'm to try to zoom in because my camera has a, a good. Monkey Jones, I don't know what this is. I got it from the, the maker of it. I don't know what they call it, but it was something I sampled a long time ago, and I like it. That's a sweet looking nug, 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 nug. I like how you got a mix of colors in there too, man. I love the dark and the light. It's fucking, oh, that's the focus right there. Stop. Yeah. Fuck. What's it smell like, man? Ah. Uh, <laughs> you, know, you, you know that uh, that powdered ice cream that they sold as like. Uh, astronaut ice cream. Yes. It smells like that, like the Neapolitan berry creamy smell. It's creamy wonderful. Creamy smell. Fuck it it smells like strawberry, kind of creamy, milky. <laughs> it's, 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 it's beautiful. It's uh, just like your beard there, man. That's looking good. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Do you see the packaging on this shit? This is yeah. You want to show us some more? This is this is strawberry gelato. Oh, the right. That's like I said, perfect packaging for weed to get us all in trouble. <laughs> yeah, I think they're candies inside there. I do it for real. Like when I first got it, I'm like, is this? This is like a free edible. I'm like, oh no, it's it's with the weed that I bought. And I really wish they'd stop doing that. That just that just that doesn't help us. <laughs> You know what I mean? Doesn't help the cause. Fucking our lawmakers point to that shit and go, see, you're going after kids. Illegal. Drive me nuts, man. Anyhow. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Why am I so... Oh, I didn't put you... Oh, there we go. Okay. Sorry, man. Yeah, we're going to go there. So. All right. I'm All grinding. Right, I'm here grinding. You are grinding, right? I am out here grinding. <laughs> Since he says you're making him, make him hungry. I'm hungry. Oh, we got Mac One in Florida down here now, Outlaw. I'm fucking stoked here. That's a, that's a good, that's one of my faves, the Mac One. The Mac One that I used to get from One Plant, I think is what it was called. That, that shit was good. That shit was good. Somebody was asking about the grinder. Somebody actually recognized it. Showed oh, it. I don't know. Yeah, nice. You like Odin. it? Yeah, it's a uh, stainless steel. Nice. Yeah. It's pretty big. It's pretty nice. It's affordable. It's like 80 bucks. Far fucking out. Check out my website for more in information. I get to the whole guide on stainless steel grinders I've been putting together. I'm sure, this, this one's on there, right? I can't stop using this one. Yeah, that one's on there. Nice. The, I don't even I didn't have to look at it. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> my spinny. Yeah, the OMD. Uh, I've been playing with this on the desk. Every time I'm in a meeting, I look up at myself and I go, oh, fuck, I've been sitting here playing with this thing on camera the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, Roma 3, that's right. Candice, I made it some fun. Uh, All right. Putting the water pipe adapter on. JR, I have not. 
You ready? We turn it on. What tip you want this time? I'm gonna. Well, I mean, it's it's at the four thirty. Want to do it there? I'll bump mine up ten. Yeah, I'll do. I'll do let's top I'll do it, it out. Again. We're gonna top it out at the end. Are we? Are we vaping? This is our last. Like, are we done after this? Is that the idea? Yeah, I gotta. Yeah. I gotta throw a leak real bad, and my dog is like scratching at my door and crying outside. Right and okay. right the fuck on. Well, then let's let's get that remedied here. Showing the heat this up thing here. Buzzes will be going. You guys are great tonight, man. Thanks for hanging with us, man. You guys have been in a lot of you for the long haul tonight, and uh, thanks a lot. It was fun giving you vapes. Congratulations to all the winners. My winners are uh, John Doe, Azra Sashima, and Monster Without Borders. Uh, you will hear from me probably this weekend at some point. Probably not tomorrow. I, I'm, I'm, I can tell tomorrow is going to be di different than normal. <laughs> Whoa! It went from like four ten to four twenty nine. Like bam! Did it? Ta down. She gone. Man, that first first rush of those terps is delicious. I'm not gonna stir it this time. Nah, I wouldn't get try to try it without. It was it was made. Patrick despises stirring. Uh, Patrick <laughs> is the owner of Planet of Apes, guys. Good for him. And uh, so no way, like he didn't have to tell me. Like we were like halfway or two thirds into the development of thing. And he was like, what about stirring? I want to do They're not going to stir. Or I told him we don't have to stir. And he was like, oh, good. I don't have to worry about that. It was like new from the beginning. This thing cannot require stirring. That was the two. That was the number two. Pretty good. Pretty good class. Pretty good. Now, third hit. I know what to expect. Fourth hit is no go. Is the way is a third hit? Uh, you didn't uh, do a third. You got to do one more. You are, you did two. I did two. So we're doing three, right? If you want, I don't care. Uh, are you only doing two? You only do two. I'm keeping up with you, bro. I did two. Now I understand why I like it so much or why it was being so harsh on my, my throat with the, the dimpled mouthpiece. It was a lot more potent than I was anticipating. Right. So yeah. Yeah. It can it can crush a bowl in three hits. That's pretty pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, I just love the effects, man. I'm glad you feel that way. Uh, I just keep getting fucked up, man. So I love it. There's something about the signature, something about the signature on this motherfucker. The vape signature of this one it is a strong signature. This vape, all right, man. We said we were done, right? we done, yeah, yeah. Should I, I go over here and click a button or something? Hit a button. Yeah, if you can hit Let the button, let me see if I can. I'll try to hit a button. Let's super. See. See everybody next Friday. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Thanks for playing the vapes for sponsoring the show. Thanks Dynavap for sponsoring the show. Yes. Dynavap, you can go to dynavap.com slash Troy and Jerry to get a 10% discount and plan on the vapes. Uh, just go to plan on the vapes and there's discounts all over the place. Yeah. And keep your eye open. Uh, watch, watch Dynavap here. Keep your eye on Dynavap for a little bit. Good night. They got a, they got a, what? You know, they, they got like, You want to say it or not? <laughs> they have uh, like a Labor Day sale going, like a back to school thing going. So they got a bunch of bunch of cool codes going right now. Oh, that's right. Check them out. Bundles. Now, isn't that glad that you're here? That. <laughs> Just what you needed. Glad that you're here. What's up, Troy? Yeah, happy Friday, Jerry. Good to see you, man. Whew, good to see you too, man. Good to see you too. It's been a week. I'm ready for a good weekend, man. I'm ready for a good weekend too. 
Cool don't get really fucked up. I got to hit that thing. A pretty special piece, man. Got some vapes to beat up. Doctor streaming just what you needed. Glad that you're here. Ladies and gentlemen, 